Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zadov Chess channel and welcome back to our Common to Chess Games Play by Computer series. So in this series we're covering some great games that have been played by top engines like Alpha Zero, Lila Zero, Dragon Engine and many many more. And today I've prepared really a beautiful game that was played by two top arch enemies between Lila C0 and Stalkers 15 in an opening that I think you would love to see more here on my YouTube chess channel. Today we'll see how Stalkers 15 brutalized Lila C0 with the black pieces in the Karokan defense. And I talked about it harder. Why does everyone love uh, this um, Karokan defense from black's perspective? In my opinion the Karokan defense is easy to study in the beginning because you can get really uh you can get really solid position after 10 15 moves you can just repeat basically the same setup over and over again but then i think um, still that um, the middle game is really tough uh to play in the karokan defense from black's perspective that's why i try to avoid it although i think when you are a beginner the Karokan defense is perfectly fine because you will have solid structures you have so you will have solid positions uh, in an early stage of the game and then then if, of course you feel very good because you didn't lose uh, any advantage in an early stage of the game you didn't lose the game immediately but uh, still as i said it's a tough tough opening uh, to battle to struggle and uh, still i would recommend you maybe something else but if you have, are a Karokan defense player you will love this game because here stockfish really brutalized lila c0 with a beautiful i would call it really a beautiful defensive setup where Stockfish built really sort of a formation where Lila C0 couldn't break in and then uh, when the position arrived when it was time Stockfish played counterplay and uh, destroyed its arch enemy so as I said in my opinion really really beautiful game and especially for those who love the Karokan defense so let's see now the game E4 was played by Lila C0 uh, we have C6 by Stockfish 15 the Karokan defense so D4 D5 and we have now the move E5 which is now the so-called advanced variation um, there are many things to be said already about this uh, position i want to clarify some things uh, again uh, we will have here a similar structures like uh, in the french defense and let's again talk about the common strategies and about the peace evaluation it's very important to recognize that in an early stage of the game first of all we have the block pawn structure uh, which means now that after potential e6 again we have similar structure like in this french offense again black should coordinate the attack towards the queen side because this small pawn chain is showing us the direction of the attack and white should coordinate the attack towards the king side because um uh, here also uh, this small pawn chain is also showing white's direction of the attack when it comes to peace evaluations again i would say here that uh, knights are equal to bishops because of the block pawn structure because the position gets more and more closed and closed uh, so that's why uh, the knights are also perfectly fine and when it comes to bishops evaluation here we have to say uh, black's light core bishop is many times a bad piece because now in the advanced variation you have to get out with your bishop if you don't do that if you play e6 you look at this your bishop will be stuck here forever uh, blocked out by its own pawn structure so that's why you have to get out with the bishop uh, with the move bishop to f5 but many times uh, in the advanced variation the bishop becomes also an object of your opponent's attack so now with g4 and similar stuff you will get uh, some kind of a attack here uh, from white's perspective so uh, in my opinion that's the problem of the karokan you have sort of a bad bishop the good bishop of blacks is of course after move e6 this starts with bishop because it supports the further uh, further attack here on c5 uh, c takes d4 knight to c6 queen to b6 like in the french the that we have seen also in the advanced variation also in the Paulson attack uh, uh, this is a sort of an idea to break through here on the queen side when it comes to white uh, good pieces i think the white slide square bishop is good piece because from the square maybe d3 it controls both sides of the board the dark square bishop is a little bit bad because if you play for instance something like f4 then it's also blocked out by its own pawn structure here uh the small pawn chain is not allowing here the dark square bishop to breathe so as i said the knight are equal to bishops dark square bishop of white is slightly worse than uh white slight square bishop uh black's dark square bishop is slightly better than black slice square bishop so you should think about this many times when you're playing this position because when you want to trade off pieces you should know actually which piece, which piece should you trade off for for any piece so here the continuation knight to f3 played by lila c0 e6 normal stuff bishop to e2 and now comes this idea c5 so here stockfish doesn't lose any time 
it's attacking immediately that side where stockfish is better as i said here simply aiming towards the queen side so c3 uh lila c0 is trying with this uh, the supported uh pawn structure here uh, on the small pawn chain we have bishop to g6 and now h4 immediately by lila c0 so lila is already threatening some ideas to h5 to h6 uh, maybe even if possible g4 when maybe knight on h2 comes then also g4 is very dangerous so that's why stockfish blocks out the potential progress uh here plays the move h5 so we have bishop to d3 and um, this is okay this is perfectly fine because uh lila c0 wants to get rid of a very important defender now in front of black's king but uh, i think that this is the piece trade that favors a little bit black because we have said many pawns are here already on light squares so that's why this light square bishop is not such a good piece white light square bishop on the other hand is much much better so i think here mission accomplished for stockfish 15 stockfish gives up a slightly worse bishop for a good bishop of white so here in the continuation we have queen to d3 c takes d4 c takes d4 knight to e7 controlling now also this very important square on f5 we have bishop to g5 and now queen to d7 if you play now too early bishop to e7 then bishop to e7 will happen g6 and still uh, black is controlling many times uh this potential outpost of the knight on g5 so whenever that happens i think we can take out immediately the knight and black is controlling also in this particular scenario the very important d6 square uh, which we also have to understand the d6 can be uh many times in black's position a huge huge positional problem so uh that's why this is after move queen to d7 not a good continuation for for black to take out immediately the bishop for a knight although as we said we have many pawns on dark Wars. this is not the most active bishop this is not the most powerful bishop but uh, now in this scenario you don't want to give up it immediately because black will have then really a good piece on the board so here in the continuation knight to c3 knight to uh, c6 if you play now of course uh, knight to b5 then knight to uh, b4 can be an opportunity attacking the queen also the knight is hanging still with knight to f5 you are controlling the d6 where so nothing special uh here in white's position so uh here after move uh, knight to c6 we have g3 by lila c0 knight to f5 king to f1 this is a good choice you don't have to castle here because the rook is very cool here it's attacking already uh here on the flanks with h4 and similar stuff the idea uh here for white to break in the position is actually the move g4 this is the move that actually i think white is preparing here so that's why staying with the rook on the h file it makes sense uh, because the position is blocked out uh, the kings are not so endangered immediately so uh, that's why lila c0 can allow also this kind of a maneuver so king to f1 bishop to e7 we have uh, knight to e2 uh, lila is trying to reroute the knight maybe here on more active squares we have rook to c8 occupying the only open file that's how you play with rooks of course uh, this is now the only open file now stockfish uh, attacks it immediately king to g2 knight to b4 we have queen to b3 knight to c6 rook from a to c1 and now king side casting and here i thought okay phew, this is risky you're casting basically into your opponent's attack i was really really nervous about this move i would not play it myself for sure uh, i would stay a little bit maybe with the king further in the center of the board uh, but this is stockfish of course the best player of all time so uh but this move really surprised me because i thought stockfish will stay a little bit longer will maybe trade off more pieces uh will they maybe try to attack the backward pawn on d4 or something but castling was really really a cool move so queen to d1 we have knight to a5 rook to b1 knight to c6 a couple perpetuals but now after the third time here a3 was played by lila c0 with an idea of course to play maybe b4 then b, uh, b5 attacking the knight and have an expansion here on the queen side the downside about this preparation a3 b4 is that you have some weaknesses here uh that could be attacked you could play maybe some kind of an outpost by the knight knight to a5 knight to c4 is sort of a route that's very interesting but um again it was i think also surprised here by stockfish stockfish didn't rush into this outpost on c4 which would which i would do for sure here uh would try maybe to attack the c4 weakens but you see that actually stockfish will stay with many pieces here with the knight with this uh, with the bishop here will stay simply 
closer to the king because Stockfish realized that it could be attacked here uh, with the move g4 so that's why Stockfish didn't rush into attacks first uh, solved many position problems and then when time then the time came it attacked finally here the position on the queen side so here rook to c7 Stockfish is preparing for the, the attack we have queen to d2 rook from f to c8 rook to uh, c1 and now b6 uh, protecting also the c5 square because in some occasions actually also uh, white could make some kind of a path here uh, knight to a4 maybe then knight to c5 seems uh, like a good outpost of the knight so that's why b6 is preventing that in a long way we have queen to f4 and now you see lila c0 is sneaking in with the queen uh, you cannot do so many things about this move g4 is going to happen for sure then maybe h4 uh, h5 h6 so the pawn will roll the position will be eventually opened in front of black's king so we have now f6 stockfish sends some blood stockfish is saying this is simply too much activity f6 and now a counter attack by lila c0 g4 we have f takes g5 uh there is also uh g takes f5 is not possible because uh, you lose simply the queen so that's why you have to play here first h takes g5 and now the knight is lost anyway uh here um we have to move the knight somewhere so that's why stockfish tried this the different way played here h takes g4 we have now queen to g4 and now uh okay still um here lila c0 is down a piece but this is now uh here the problem the knight is uh, hanging uh the bishop is a little bit loose we have here the tension on the c file if you don't react correctly then you get here checkmated on on the eight file so that's why it's still a tense tense position this is really um nice attacking formation that lila c0 built here so second sacrificing a pawn just in order uh, sacrificing a piece pardon me just in order to get initiative so we have bishop to f8 knight to f4 look at this these pieces are really really active uh, the pieces are coming into the game really in a beautiful way but stockfish defends this now with knight to e7 this is the only defensive move that you can play for instance if you play something like queen to e8 if you're trying maybe uh, to get the queen somehow into the game then queen to h3 is going to happen and you don't have so many uh, defensive options if you move the bishop you will get checkmated also g6 is here an opportunity you should not forget about the move g6 because if that happens then look at this this pawn is very annoying it's not allowing here the king to escape on f7 so that's why the only way to protect here the g6 move is the move knight to e7 because if g6 happens now uh, then we can play of course rook to c7 uh, rook to c1 pardon me but that's not the point i wanted to just show you uh the importance about this setup of the knights you still can play something like knight to h6 uh, that's the most important thing because the knight is cutting off the activity on the h file and now uh, this knight is also controlling the f7 score so it's the only defensive setup that lila c0 could have played so after move knight to e7 a rook to c7 uh, we have rook to c7 uh, so as i said queen to h5 trying now this checkmate threats on the h file g6 is not working because as we said we have at least this kind of an opportunity knight to h6 is solving you know every positional problem in in black's camp so this is now really uh really good how stockfish defended this position so rook to c7 we have queen to h5 queen to c6 and now knight to e1 getting the knight closer a little bit wants to reroute the knight uh getting it on a better square here in continuation uh we have um, rook to c8 and now rook to h3 here by lila c0 so lila is staying now on the h file with both of these uh, pieces very very active setup still you see this bishop cannot breathe because it's blocked out by its own knight if this knight moves as we said then g6 is going to happen so you will lose the game so uh, let's go back instead of this move knight to e1 if you play here queen to h8 immediately if you try maybe this kind of a check it's not working because black can escape king to f7 you can play maybe uh, the move g6 but now we simply escape <coughs> maybe knight to h5 could happen but now queen to c2 is going to happen so everything is good together everything is compact no no way here for uh, for black uh to get challenged for them so white uh, is lost here for sure so this is not working so let's go back as i said knight to e1 instead of queen to h8 was played this is not working rook to c8 we have rook to h3 queen to d7 we have knight to d3 we have rook to c6 king to h2 and now rook to c2 king to g1 and now rook to d2 so stockfish is getting closer and closer activates now the pieces still these two knights and these two bishops have to stay there nothing can be moved so stockfish has to be careful here we have now b3 by lila c0 we have queen to c8 and finally uh, stockfish is getting uh for instance the queen 
here where it could attack of course also the knight on d3 we have king to g2 we have queen to c6 and now rook to f3 and this is now a move that caused many problems i think in in lila's position because now the rook is not threatening anymore um this checks on the h file but let's see different opportunities let's see if you for instance play the move b4 if you are trying maybe some kind of an attack here on the queen side or maybe some other moves then queen to c4 is going to happen as we said if g6 happens we have always this move knight to h6 and everything is uh solved here so but now after move um uh, uh let's go back after move uh, b4 as we said queen to c4 you could maybe try here knight to e6 attacking uh here the position also attacking further the bishop on f8 but the problem is now actually you can take and uh, whatever you do for instance if you play now queen to h8 we can play king to f7 look at this if you take now the knight is hanging on e6 so this is not working if you take of course with the knight then of course knight to d4 and still we can trade off the rook uh, we can then uh, play a check so i think here uh, black's attack uh pardon me white's attack is splashed black solves every positional problem so this is really really uh not working so that's why rook to f3 but it gives now time for uh, stalker 15 to reroute here the knight now the knight doesn't have to stay here in order to defend this position because g6 is now not a threat we have rook to h3 let's see possible conditions if you play g6 then we play knight to g6 you play queen to g6 but now we can take out this one and uh, this is game over i think here for um for white so this is not working so you play king to queen to f3 now d4 uh for instance is a possibility so uh, this is not working so after move rook to h3 lila c0 uh part after move rook to h3 with knight to f5 again played by stockfish so stockfish grab the pawn is moving the uh, the knight back and he has now again the de defensive motif again of g6 knight to h6 we know the grip so uh here in the continuation we have uh, b4 by stockfish uh, by lila c0 we have d4 by stockfish 15 creating a very nice discovered attack against the king king to h2 and now the queen comes here in the center of the board the queen is centralized so it's now completely completely lost game here for lila c0 so king to g1 we have uh, rook to a2 king to h2 now beautiful move rook takes f2 by uh, stalker 15 sacrificing the rook but only temporarily because we have this one uh, queen to f4 uh, the king has to protect now the knight again and you check again uh, attacking the knight you have to play king to uh, g1 again but now again a new check king to g2 and now look at this this knight is coming into the game knight to f4 is a serious serious threat uh here rook to f3 was played and now queen to uh, e5 king to g1 again a check again attacking the uh the piece here and after move g6 in this position uh lila c0 resigned because now bishop to d6 is going to happen this is devastating these three pieces are too too active the, the knight is coming on here um on e3 this knight can come on e3 the rook is hanging uh whatever you want to we can i think even push the pawn here on d3 d2 so the queen is also hanging so uh we can always escape that's the most important thing to recognize the knight is controlling um the square g7 so the attacking formation is simply here too much to handle uh for in, in white position so really really great game uh really interesting ideas of the karo khan um, when stockfish built this uh defensive formation the only uh, progress that lila c0 could have made here let's go back was the move g4 uh, this was the only way to break through in the position let's go to the critical moment okay okay here f from f6 g4 that was the only way uh lila c0 sacrificed a piece just in order to get this h file open but you see stockfish calculated everything uh played now good defensive setup knight to e7 was the crucial moment in my opinion where stockfish realized its problem defended the position built this defensive structure g6 as we said take it uh, first knight h6 of course but as we said after this uh, trade of rooks uh if g6 would have happened knight to h6 is uh the cool defensive goal and from this point on the game was basically over for uh lila c0 so good good defensive game by stalker 15 i think you can apply at least some kind of an idea here out, out of this game because i think you will face the advanced variation many times if you're a karakan defense player uh really really good stuff here by the fish and uh, cool win uh, by the best engine in the world so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more 
talk for 15 and maybe leave us a zero alpha zero games check out my comment and chat games play by computer series here's the link of our uh playlist and if you want to see more carl khan games check also my mini playlist where we have we have analyzed more games of this beautiful opening and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course